Mid Journey version 5.2 was just released. I tested out its new features and here's what you need to know. The biggest update is the zoom out feature. After you have upscaled an image, you now have the zoom buttons which will pull the camera away backwards and fill in the outsides of the image, which is essentially outpainting. You can choose a preset 1.5 times or 2 times zoom. Or click the custom zoom button, which allows you to adjust the dash dash zoom parameter. So if I want to zoom 1.7 times, I will just type dash dash zoom 1.7. You can also adjust the aspect ratio in the custom zoom with the dash dash AR parameter. Our current image has a 1 to 1 ratio, so let's change that to 3 to 2 to see what we get. The results are pretty impressive. The custom zoom feature has filled the outsides of the image, and the aspect ratio has been changed to 3 to 2. You can do this multiple times, and some Mid Journey users have been going crazy with this feature. The new zoom feature can also turn your rectangular images into squares. Underneath an upscaled image, without a square aspect ratio, there's a make square button, which will fill in the side so the image becomes a square. There's also more control over the variations of generated images. Underneath the upscaled images, there are new very strong and very subtle buttons. The very strong button generates new variations of your images with a decent amount of variation. In the new image grid, the backgrounds are all different, the clothing has changed, and the girl is faced in a slightly different direction. The very subtle button generates variations with minute changes. In the new grid, the background and subject are basically the same, with tiny differences. This new control over variations also exists for image generation in general with the new high variation mode and low variation mode in the settings menu. These generate image grids with high variety and low variety respectively. But in my experiments, the amount of variations will still be somewhat limited. If you really want a ton of variety, you still need the chaos parameter. Go check out my video on chaos in Midjourney if you want to learn more. Midjourney version 5.2 introduces the new shorten command which analyzes your prompts with AI and takes out any unnecessary words while keeping the important ones. However, I think this feature still needs some work. Here's an image I used the describe command to generate prompts for. If I take one of these prompts and use a shorten command, which is used by typing slash shorten followed by the prompt, Midjourney produces a set of shortened prompts, each one with fewer words. Taking a closer look, it's clear that the AI doesn't really understand how to break down the prompt properly. The phrase hip hop style has been shortened into just hop. The phrase street inspired is shortened into street. And the phrase light black gets shortened into black. The new prompt generates a black lady meditating in a street, which is pretty far from the original prompt, which generates a variety of different backgrounds near bodies of water and multiple ethnicities. Finally, version 5.2 comes with new aesthetics and stylization. Comparing to versions 5 and 5.1, the images have a more realistic feel to them and appear more photogenic. You still get some weird hands though. In the release notes, the stylized parameter is supposed to have a stronger effect in version 5.2. This parameter is added to the end of your prompts with dash dash stylized to increase the amount of stylization that's applied. I tested out the stylized parameter, which goes from 0 to 1000. As far as I can tell, the parameter stops doing much after 500. It also appears to reduce the amount of natural language understanding the model has. The prompt I used specifically asked for an image grid of a girl riding a koi, but only images with low stylization actually follow this prompt. However, version 5 and 5.1 had no issue with generating a girl riding a koi, even with a high stylization amount. Aside from a few features that need some tuning, version 5.2 is an exciting change, especially with the zoom feature. Let me know what you think about the new features and what you plan to use them for.